So what's the Grape Explorer talking about today? Well, we are featuring another one of our Grand Cru Class A uh, chateaus that we wanted to uh, bring to the attention. So this is called Bordeaux Series. We have Ch Chateau uh, Au Bailly here. It's pronounced Au Bailly. And they are an in interesting property right here. They are located in the area which is called Paysac Lignon. So you have the city of Bordeaux right here. And just next one down, you've got Paysac Lignon right here. So why are we featuring uh, Obayi? Well, it's got a very, very interesting history that one thing I wanted to at least uh, uh, elaborate on. So for many years, I've been tasting Obayi, uh, and you meet a very, very charming uh, woman, uh, Ver Veronique Sanders. Veronique has been in charge of Obayi for many, many years, but behind the scenes, a lot of people didn't know that this was actually an American-owned uh, property and the gentleman that owned it with his wife was uh, Robert Wilmers. Robert Wilmers was a banker from New York, and he actually settled into the Buffalo area, created one of the largest banks in New York. He was a Harvard-educated um, lad, studied very, very hard to become one of the top iconic banking figures in all of New York. So I thought, hey, this is a guy that, you know, really want to feature, um, you know, again, on our, on our Bordeaux um, class, uh, Grand Cru Class A series, but what's interesting is he passed away, uh, unfortunately, 2017. But uh, but the, uh, Veronique Sanders is still running this property, and so they built this beautiful, beautiful, brand new uh, winery. This is one of the oldest chateaus in Paysac Lignon, uh, dating back to 1461. So yes, they have been around a long, long time. But I love these wines, and you know we all know who the players are in, in Pesach. But if you don't know, I'm going to explain. So the top of the heap is Aubryon. Nobody can argue that Chateau Aubryon is not the finest wine made in Pesach Lignon. And their uh, neighbor, which is also owned by Aubryon, is La Mission Aubryon. These are the two greatest wines. There's no doubt. Everybody knows they're at the top of the pecking order. But who's actually down in the next, uh, the next list? I would put Obayi. Obayi is one of the finest wines in all of Bordeaux. So their 2019 is, is right here. That was one of the top wines that was made in 2019. Um, Pesac Lignon, if you've never had it before, uh, you get a lot of the deep forest scents because if you go down and you visit these chateaus, there is actual forest. So you do get a lot of those scents and everything from there. But we're talking about 60% Cabernet, 35% Merlot, and then we've got... Um, You've got a very small dash of uh, Cabernet Franc in here. and um, But this property is, again, one of the finest properties. And their 2022 was over the charts. So what we consider in the wine trade, we look at iconic vintages. And again, 2022 is going to be a benchmark vintage. Not only according to me, but a lot of the wine writers came back and they were penciling in 1982. But the 2022 Obayi, they now consider to be the finest wine ever made at that property. Again, we're talking about heavily, heavily invested in new projects, new winery and everything like that. But this is a wine that we want to, we want to bring into the table here because, again, Aubryon, very expensive wines. We're talking anywhere between 600, 800. This nestles in about 200 $250 a bottle. Again, this is David Cole, the grape explorer, talking about Grand Cru Classe Bordeaux. Cheers.